What's up everybody, Gundam Flexing here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the high grade Universal Sentry MSN 06S2 Sinanju Stein narrative version, the Neo Zeon Psycho Frame prototype mobile suit. Uh, this is from Mobile Suit Gundam Narrative. And before I begin, I first want to thank Daphne and Fee for gifting this to me about five months ago. I haven't had time to build it, but now that I do, we're going to unbox it first. This model came out in late December of 2018 and it can still run you roughly around $30 to $40. Um, I've seen quite a bit of unboxing and review videos from bigger Gunflow YouTubers and I can tell you that the product looks amazing. So without further ado, let's check out what's around the box. Starting with the most detailed end here. So here we have the front model and then you also have the black completed model. Um, just based on experience and based on the videos, I can tell you that the thrusters, the red parts in the thrusters definitely are not red and it's something you're gonna have to paint inside. Here we have the intricate details. So you have the emblems and the engraving on the arm and in front of the chest. And sort of like the uh, Gerald Zulus, I can guarantee you those are definitely stickers. And here are the weapon systems. You have a shield, a grenade launcher, a bazooka, and the grenade launcher is like shaped uh, such as an M203. You have two beam sabers. Instead of pink, they are yellow, and you have a high beam rifle. And on this end of the box, it talks about the action poses. So you can tell the three weapon systems definitely combine into one. As it says it right here, the bazooka and grenade launchers can be attached to the high beam rifle. And right here it tells you that you have various hand parts for more dynamic posing. Uh, the beam sabers can be stored inside the armor on the arms. And you could also move the thrusters around its legs. So you do have flexibilities with the thrusters. And you have some pretty cool poses and a back view. Then again, it sort of sucks um, that the red inside the thrusters you're going to have to paint in it. Now let's see the instructional pamphlets and all the bags. So this is the first bag. The colors are primarily gray and here we can see the sticker emblems. Again, it's just like the Zulus. Um, the stickers should be easy to place and uh, it looks very nice. See the eyes are red. You see the shield here, a bunch of gray pieces there. You see the hands on this end, parts of the skirt. So yeah, based on the other YouTuber videos, uh, especially about the completed kits, it is phenomenal. The, the finished product it just looks phenomenal. Here's a second bag. Here's all the thrusters or the boosters, parts of the legs. Here's just parts of the legs too and more boosters. So most likely these two are identical B1 and B1. That is true, they are identical. Here's a third bag, only really the PC caps and the beam savers. So another bag, and you have pretty much like the chest and the waist, right here where my thumb's at. And behind that you get some like rose yellow mixed in with brown colors, E2. And that's probably for the inside so you don't have to focus too much on removing nub marks. And finally, the last bag, and this is the dark blue runner in the very front. You have the front part of the shield. So anywhere on the box art where it's dark blue, this is it. And the back is gray. It's most likely his weapon system with the bazooka, the beam rifle. And behind that is another like rose brown color. And that's definitely for the inside. Most likely don't have to, uh, most likely don't have to concern yourself with the, uh, uh, with the nub removals. Because once you start building enough gun flow, you realize which parts you should focus on and then which parts you could absolutely blast through. This is the instruction pamphlet. If you want to read about the specs, here they are. And looking at the first page, which is very deep, here it is. Here's the, all the runners. So you have A, B1, C, D, E2. Matter of fact, there's so many they had to enumerate how many B1s you have. And I think that's the only duplicate um, runner. It's difficult to sort of tell. I can't really see too many X's except for the D runner. So you're going to have 
quite a bit of leftovers on that runner. And again, you have the sticker sheet. And of course, followed by the instructions, which is pretty much you start with the chest, the head, the arms, and then the bottom portions of the limb. And typical, like all other Gunpla, you conclude with the weapon system and all the extra gimmicks. So here you have to finish with the boosters and then you finish with the weapon systems here. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Do you have a bazooka or is this the beam rifle? That's a beam rifle. So that's a great portion in the center. Slap on two on either side. It's pretty nice. You have the barrels. All this extra detail of hopefully remember to go over during the review video. Here it is, the finishing weapon systems and of course the shield. And of course you also have the back page. Here it is there and the color guide which is very simple darker colors plus a red color most likely for the eyes and for the thrusters what does it say here ah okay so essentially everything in the back portion of the instruction pamphlet is on the side of the box high beam rifle grenade launcher what is this different shapes the shields excellent so yep yeah, this is a Pretty detailed high grade model, um, probably one of the best ones to conclude the year 2018. Again, thank you to Daphne and Fee for gifting this to me, can't wait to start building it. So the next video should be the speed build video, and hopefully I'll see you guys there. If you have any questions or comments, please post it down in the section below. And as always, I appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.